Hi there, Tim here. This is Advanced Voxelmancy 302. In this episode, we're going to take the imperfect corner voxel we made in episode 301 and make it a perfect corner voxel. To do that, however, uh, before I do that, I'm going to demonstrate a behavior or a principle um, of the shrink tool uh, that we're going to use to our advantage uh, to make that happen. So I'm just uh, I just selected my offset um, voxel right there and I'm just going to drop it down here on top of my anchor and shrink it and putty it to get it back and copy the shrunk version and undo a couple of times alright we're going to take the shrunk version here and we're going to drop it down five times And then I'm going to color it. And then we're going to drop it down five more times between stretching out the brown ones. The whole point to this exercise is just so that we have different heights. So you see we have a pole of offset voxels, um, some stretched, some shrunk. If I tell it, take this, like that, now remember we have um, its offset one up, so I'm selecting one below and one here, and this is our entire shrink, all right? Um, if I take this, and I'm actually going to go up one more and down one more, and I'm going to shrink this, all right, and I'm going to shrink it again, and I'm going to shrink it again. Now, you notice that what it's doing is it's shrinking the diameter, and it's trimming from the top and the bottom, but what it has done is take the ones in the middle and basically snap them to grid, all right, so that it's equalized the heights of the ones in between. All right. So this principle of it equalizing the heights of the center voxels um, is the principle that we're going to exploit. All right. So again, we're just going to drop a couple of anchors right here, and I'm going to create an offset corner from our point right here. So I'm going to take our point. I'm going to place it one above like this, which stretches out the point to the one above. And, and you'll note, by the way, that this is imperfect. All right. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but if I copy out this stretched offset voxel, we'll undo that. So the one I'm working with here now is, whoops, uh, is that. All right. So it's an offset corner height. And you see right at the top right there, and I can't know if you can quite tell in the video, but this is not lined up, all right? And that's the problem that we're having. It's because these rays down here at the bottom were used, created using imperfect methods in 301, um, and that's not good enough for what we need to do next, so we're going to clean it up here. Um, so I'm taking my offset corner string, and we're going to paste it on top of our anchor here, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to paste it seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to um, go up one, two, three, and up nine. All right. What we want to have is uh, we've pasted it seven times, and we want to have one above it and one below it for a shrink. All right. So we're going to go ahead and shrink that, and then putty it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. And then 
we're going to shrink it again. And putty it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And shrink it again. And putty it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then we're going to choose one of the middle ones. And copy it. And paste it into our reactor. And we'll copy that out and undo. So now what we have is a highly improved offset. All right, and the top is a mess, but the bottom has been cleaned up a lot. All right, um, and it's not a mess, a mess, it's just better. So we're gonna take the top over here, which we knew was nice and clean, and we're going to paste it on top of our cleaned up bottom. And now what we have is a corner that's actually perfect. I'm going to demonstrate that that's true by showing you that if I take this and make a line on the red axis, it's invisible. And if I make a line on the green axis, it's invisible. And if I make a line along the blue axis. It is also invisible. And what that means is that I have a point where all of the reactors are going to exactly the same point right there. All right? Because if they weren't in exactly the same point, as I drew one of the lines, it would render um, a bar instead of a line and you would be able to see it. All right, so that is how we use the uh, snap to grid shrink principle, or call it something, um, to clean up our imperfect corner into a perfect corner. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in Voxelmancy 401.